So right now I'm going to show you how to turn a photograph into a pencil sketch inside of Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I've got a great tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to turn a photograph into a pencil sketch. It's super easy. But then I'm going to show you some additional steps to take it beyond what you see in other tutorials. So anyway guys, if you like Photoshop tutorials, consider hitting that subscribe button right now, become part of the Cafe Crew, get a new tutorial from me every single week. So let's get started. Here's a photograph that I grabbed from Adobe Stock. I'm gonna give you a link underneath. We can go to my website and grab this image. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to duplicate this layer. So the way to do that is to either hit Command J on the keyboard, which I'm doing right there, or you could drag that layer here into the new layer icon, and that's another way of duplicating the layer. So what we're gonna do with the duplicated layer is we wanna make this black and white, so we can do this by hitting Command Shift U, and that would be Control Shift U on Windows. Now you can also find that under Image Adjustments Desaturate. So what we wanna do now is we wanna duplicate this, hit Command J to duplicate it, or click and drag it into the new layer icon, as I mentioned before, and that will create a duplicate of that layer. All right, the next thing we wanna do is we want to invert this layer. So we're gonna create the exact opposite and it's really simple to invert it. What we're gonna do is choose Command-I and that's Control-I on Windows to invert that layer. So now we've got an invert on top. So right now we've got two black and white layers. So what we wanna do now is blend these two layers together in a way that they cancel each other out. And the way to do that is to use layer blending modes. So where it says normal, just click on normal and we're gonna move down and we're gonna use the color dodge blending mode. So right now you should just see a white screen. So the way we wanna build up this effect is by making a difference between the two layers. We're gonna do this in stages. So now we're gonna choose filter and under filter, we're gonna go down and we're gonna choose the blur and we're gonna grab a Gaussian blur. And let me just drag the dialog box out of the way a little bit so we can see what's going on. So what I wanna do is I wanna pull this up just a little bit till we get a nice etched effect. See where it starts to get a little shadowy and it starts to get filled in? Like if we go beyond that, see how it's gonna to start to soften just a little bit? That's going a little too far, let's just pull it back. And now we've got a very lightly sketched pencil effect. I'm gonna show you how to make this look even more realistic with shading and different things that a real artist would do with a pencil. So the first thing we wanna do is get these two layers together. So we're just gonna hit the Shift key and select the layer underneath. So we've selected both of these. We want to put them into a layer group. Now we can do that by hitting Control G. That's Command G on Mac for group. And now we wanna duplicate this group the same way we would a layer. In fact, if we wanna duplicate anything on a layer inside of Photoshop, Command J will duplicate it. And now we've got an exact copy of everything. So the next thing we wanna do now is we're gonna go down, select our top layer, and now we're gonna blur it more. So we're gonna choose Filter Blur. We're gonna go down to our Gaussian Blur. And now we're gonna give it more of a blur. See how it starts to have a little bit of a filling in kind of an effect here? In fact, we could go even further. You know, this is going a little too far, so let's pull it back just a little bit. So it still looks like a sketch, but we can start to see a little bit more shade, a little bit more detail in there, and we're gonna click OK. So we've created this effect on top. What we wanna do now is blend the two layers together so they work together. And once again, we're gonna use layer blending modes. So on our top layer, click on the group, and yes, you can apply blending modes to groups as well as layers. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go down until we find a good blending mode. And I think that the darken is gonna work really well. So if we were to hide these two layers, this is what the layer does by itself. This is our top layer. And notice when we pop this in, you'll see additional detail will start to appear. Areas like the eyes, the hair and different things like that. See what we're doing here? Look carefully, see more detail around the nose line. And so this is giving us a lot more detail by blending the two together. But we can make that even better by taking the opacity on the top layer 
on that group and just pulling it down a little bit. And what we're doing now is we're blending those two together. Now we're gonna take it a step further. Let's hit Control J one more time. And that means we're creating a third layer. Now we're gonna go down here and we're also gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna choose Filter Blur. We're gonna go down to the Gaussian Blur and we're gonna give this a big blur. See what it's doing is it's creating a big kind of a shading effect. It's almost looking like a photograph again now. So what we're gonna do is just click OK. Okay, so now we wanna selectively paint this in. So we're gonna select our layer group up at the top here. And by the way, if you don't want these layers open, if you hit the Command key of Control on Windows, click on that triangle, it closes all the triangles at once. So now we're gonna create a layer mask, but I wanna hide everything on that layer. So the way to do that is to hold down the Alt or the Option key on Mac and click on the new layer icon and that creates a black mask which hides everything. Now we wanna bring back parts. All we need to do now is paint with white. So let's grab the brush. We've got a paintbrush right there. Make this brush bigger by hitting the right bracket key. Make sure white is selected as your foreground color. And I wanna set the opacity to 30%. So I'm gonna tap the three key on my keyboard to set that to 30%. Now making sure I'm painting on the mask. And you can see the mask, it's got that little white outline around it, it means it's selected. And also you can see up here it says layer mask. And now we're just gonna paint in these areas where we wanna put some of that additional detail, which is gonna be around the face here. It's gonna be very subtle, but it's gonna give you a little bit of that shading. Same thing on the hair. Let's give that hair just a little bit. You see that? And I'm just gently painting that in. And what we're doing is selectively working with that paintbrush. So in the past, I did this tutorial where we just blurred it once and we were done. Now we've built up three different layers that build different layers of pencil where we've got the outline, we've got the shading, and I believe it starts to look much more natural. Now let's give it that last little pop where we're just gonna sharpen it, but I'll show you a good way to sharpen this. What we're gonna do is select everything. So I've selected all of these layers, and now I wanna make a copy of all of this without flattening what we've got. So if we hit Shift Option Command on Mac, and that would be Shift Alt Control on Windows, and then E for Merge, what it's gonna do now is it's gonna create a brand new layer on top that contains everything from the layers beneath. So we're gonna use this as our sharpening layer. We're gonna change the blend mode from normal to overlay. It's gonna change now, but don't worry. We're gonna go under filter, other, high pass. And now this is where we're gonna apply a high pass sharpening effect. So one of the things I noticed about high pass sharpening working on photos, it finds the edges. So a light bulb went off and I'm like, aha, this is gonna work really well for a sketch effect. So let's adjust this radius until it looks about right. So there it is with no effect. Let's pull it up. That's a little too much. Let's wind it back. Now, why did I say it's too much? Because some of these areas are starting to fill in a little and look too photographic. So let's bring them back a little bit. So it looks like a really good quality pencil sketch. And then we're gonna click OK. And we can see it without and then with that filter. So if you wanna know more about layer blending modes, I've got a free ebook for you. I'm gonna give you a link underneath where you can download that. So all right guys, I, I got a question for you because I know you watch from all over the world and I'm really curious, where are you watching from? Let us know in the comments underneath. And also if there's any tutorials you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comments as well. So if you love Photoshop tutorials, hit that subscribe button right now and you'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. Also hit that notification bell on YouTube and that way you'll know whenever I upload a new tutorial, which is usually every Tuesday, and occasionally I do bonus videos as well throughout the week. So don't forget, if you like this video, smash the like button into dust. Also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Photoshop Cafe. And until next time, guys, I'll see you at the cafe.